The state capitol now back open to the public after a brief evacuation, and within the past few minutes, police released information about who might be behind this threat. This is the man they're looking for. 30-year-old Jackson Penny from Hayward. Police say he shot at the Kaiser Hospital in Roseville last night, hitting the building. Thankfully, no one inside was injured. They also think he's related to two other shootings in Citrus Heights that happened minutes before. We do have live team coverage today, getting answers on the nature of the threat, plus the confusion that really played out with the tourists and events at the Capitol. First, though, we do want to start with CBS 13's Julie Watts. You've been on this since this broke. Walk us through what we know so far. Yeah, we've been working with sources, both of the legislature and law enforcement. CHP sources are now confirming they were notified of a credible threat at the Capitol by Roseville PD. And as you mentioned, it was related to the suspect in the shooting outside Kaiser Roseville last night. But we're still working to confirm what exactly that credible threat was. Now, Roseville PD said the suspect may be related to a, quote, incident at the state capitol. CHP says the suspect made, quote, credible threats against the capitol, but it's not clear to whom or what those threats were. Now, the first emails went out to lawmakers and staff around 845 this morning, notifying them that floor session would be delayed. Then just before 9, when it should have started, they were notified of that credible threat, asked to stay in their offices at a separate location or shelter in place inside the capitol if they were already there. Uh, instead of heading over to the capitol for session, folks in their office buildings off site were asked to stay there. Now, the Senate did later hold floor session at an alternate location. The Assembly held a check in session. Most staffers, though, were sent home or they were asked not to come in today. Interestingly, in a press release released just minutes ago, CHP said the Capitol is temporarily closed. However, as you mentioned, we've been watching tour groups and school kids coming and going all day long. Certainly, they're not holding official uh, floor sessions or committee hearings there today, but it has been open to the public, at least from our perspective. And we will be working to get details on that specific threat at the Capitol. Notably, the suspect is still not in custody. We'll be getting more details throughout the day. Yeah, CHP not taking any chances with this one. Julie, thanks so much.